the walk is pretty, is pretty tough, I'm not going to lie. The higher we get, the higher the altitude, my breath is getting a bit shorter. Three hours and 4,000 metres above sea level, and I was beginning to fear I might not ever find a gorilla. Oh, my God. Big. <laughs> I grabbed, I grabbed yeah, Francis, like, my life, life depended on it. We've, we've really, really lucked out here. So we've got a mother cradling her baby. We've got black backs. And we've got the mother of all gorillas, the silverback right there. He's just watching us, watching him. I can't believe where this goes. My mind is just absolutely blown. And when you think we share 98% of our DNA with these great apes, you understand why they too are curious about us. Rwanda, in collaboration with international conservation partners, has achieved remarkable success in not only protecting, but growing the mountain gorilla population. In fact, there's now a thousand mountain gorillas here in the wild, up from 200 just two decades ago, when they were on the brink of extinction. This is primarily down to the decrease in poaching when the gorillas were hunted for meat. But in an effort to protect the gorillas, poachers were trained to become mountain guides and porters here, further supporting tourism. So talk to me about the poaching here. I can say there is no problem. Mm -hmm. But there is no problem because you keep avoiding it not happening by involving with the communities and having their and poaching patrols. Yeah. But you can't say it is done, then you leave. So we yeah. keep on. But of course, more gorillas means they need more space. The government has now pledged to expand the forest by 23%, adding almost 4,000 hectares to its current 16,000. Noeli Bosco is a gorilla doctor and the jungle is his clinic. Today, he's come to check on one of his patients. Welcome here in the jungle. Thank you. Yeah. How do you know exactly <laughs> who is who? Each one of this group has a specific nose print. And then these oh, guys wow. will have the gorilla card. They look at the nose print, they check on the animal, they're like, oh, this, this one, this, this one. So then over time, you get used to it. So talk to me about just how important your work is to the conservation? Well, very much important because mm. we, we, Gorilla Doctors is uh, credited for uh, the half of the population growth. But um, everyone has contributed, mm. including tourism. And wow. this increases for 4% every year. In fact, tourists pay $1,500 to spend an hour up here with these great apes. You can just hear little grunts just in the distance. At the minute, I think it's quite hard to tell if it's aggressive or playful grunts. Wow, how, how did you feel when the gorilla came out of nowhere and jumped out at you? <laughs> Just being able to watch them eating, interacting, and even communicating with us in their natural habitat is hands down one of the best experiences that I've ever had the pleasure of having while being on my travels. I highly recommend it. 